Hey YouTube, Lucky here, and today I wanted to bring you a video where I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on the Revelry event that's currently happening in Destiny 2. Now, I'll start from the beginning. You know, you load in, you look around the tower. The tower is definitely very uh, colorful and interesting. Kind of reminds me of the movie Avatar, Pandora, and such. We've got some interesting cosmetics. We've got an actual uh, ladybug <laughs> ghost, which I believe I got already. Uh, this thing... This thing is actually kind of adorable, um, Come see me again. and there's a few other cosmetics that came with this event. Along with the tower changes, we go and speak to Evil right. Levante, whose sole mission in life is apparently to uh, ruin the Crucible. Um, she brings some very interesting uh, tonic here, a Reveler's Tonic, and with it you are allowed three buffs. The class ability boost, the grenade boost, and the melee boost. Now, using these gives you an extreme amount of abilities in the Crucible, in comp even, in all playlists, um, PvE and PvP, which is kind of cool in some ways. It's kind of like a whole mayhem thing, but this event is meant to last for three weeks, and the fact that you can throw um, infinite grenades back to back to back, and you can almost entirely win matches of comp without even barely using a gun um, it's a little bit ridiculous and uh, I think most people would agree with me that it probably ha doesn't have the best place in comp it's kind of it's like it's okay in quick play because like quick play is like who cares whatever but in comp it's definitely really scary and kind of frustrating and along with this you also drop a tremendous amount of orbs so you'll see people getting their supers and like such a short amount of time. It's actually kind of ridiculous. And so before I jump into all of that though, um, the Verdant Forest is very interesting. Um, it's an endless horde mode, which is sort of like the infinite forest or the haunted forest, uh, but now it's the Verdant Forest. And it goes on infinitely, which I kind of like that you could actually play this for 10 hours and you would make it to whatever level you would make it in 10 hours, right? Depending upon how fast you go. Um, me and my team made it to level 169 and we stopped because we thought it would be funny to stop at level 169. Um, there's actually no challenge to go beyond um, even just the first level, that is. Um, it's a part of the bounties to do this stuff, and I think that it's cool that it goes on infinitely. I would, however, like just the slightest, most incremental challenge for each wave, even if it was like one little dregs, extra dreg spawned, or if slowly but surely there was more and more powerful enemies, even if it took to like wave 500 for it to actually get serious, I would like for it to be uh, challenging with time because it would be make the it would make achieving an extremely high level really rewarding. Whereas right now, what happens is if you leave or if a fire team member gets an error code, you cannot rejoin, and so essentially you're just fighting against getting an error code, and that's about it. Um, you could go infinitely until your entire teammate, until your entire fire team potentially gets error codes, um, which is uh, not nearly as challenging or as interesting. Um, it would be way cooler if it just ever so slightly incrementally got tougher. Even let's say the first 100 levels, right? No increase in challenge. So that way people can get their bounties done. People who are under leveled, it says recommended power 200. So that way people that are actually under leveled can, can get their bounties done and actually beat it within the first 100 levels. And then after the first 100 levels, or maybe after the first 200 levels, I don't know, but it would just be really cool if there was some challenge or some um, reason to go really, really far in that. It reminds me of like, uh, if anyone in here has ever played like Call of Duty Zombies, uh, Zombies is really cool because it very incrementally gets more and more difficult with time. And so if you play longer and longer and longer, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher. Um, or at least that's the way it was in the original. I haven't played Zombies in a very long time, but originally when Zombies first came out, that's the way it was. And, and I really like that about Call of Duty Zombies and Call of Duty World at War um, and the other um, Call of Duty games that came out after that. The, I haven't played Call of Duty a ton in, in a bit, uh, other than Black Ops 4, but... I really liked the Call of Duty Zombies style, and I really like horde modes that incrementally get tougher. So, the Verdant Forest, I would say, is it's pretty cool, but it could definitely be way better if it just had that, that change to it. So, now I'm in a private match in PvP, and essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, you take the Reveler's Tonic, you can take any one of these, they're all extremely powerful. Um, it tends to be that Grenade Boost is the better, because it's an offensive trait, but you can take something like the Grenade Boost, 
I'll go back to my character. I've got Shinobu's Vow, so I have double skip grenades. And I skip grenades on my Arc Strider. And I can just start lobbing these bad boys like crazy. There's one. There's one. And like every two, three seconds, I have another one. And this just goes on endlessly. And this is kind of the problem, is that stuff like this in comp, or stuff like this in Destiny, takes away the sort of like competitive elements of it. And... This is what people are frustrated with, and I completely understand, and I, too, am slightly frustrated with stuff like this, because this is going to be like three weeks of the Crucible. Bungie said that they did not want it to be this way, this is what sort of was the info that's been given to us, um, but there, there's no way of actually taking out the tonics from PvP without taking out PvE, and so it's kind of like we're stuck with this. And so, I don't know though. Let me know what you guys think. I think that the Revelry event overall is hit or miss some people are enjoying it because they can go into comp and they don't have to get destroyed by not forgotten teams uh other people are not enjoying it because of for example all the grenade spam and, and class ability spam and everything else um let me know what you guys think i want to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below what do you guys think of the revelry event do you think it's fun do you think it's interesting um are you enjoying it at all or are you completely hating it um, I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, me, personally, what I think Bungie's trying to do with it is essentially just make the game more fun and silly. Uh, and in the process, I think that they're accomplishing that a little bit. I mean, it is kind of fun and silly and ridiculous with the grenade spam stuff, but maybe a little too far, you know? Maybe we don't want the competitive playlist to feel like mayhem. You know, it kind of negates even having a competitive playlist if I can be completely honest, um, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. I will be reading all the comments below. Uh, let me know what you rate the Revelry event. Zero out of ten. Uh, what is it that you rate it? Give me a number down below in the comment section. And make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you want more. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.